Hello, my frosty friends. It's time for another episode. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. I am Annie, Joyfield Stitcher, and this is my channel and a video about cross stitch. Sometimes knitting, plans of crafty endeavors, life, and more. This is floss tube number 90. 90! What is that? That's incredible. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. And today is Friday, February the 5th, 2021. So happy February to everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful start to February. Um, I'll chat live here in a minute, but first I want to say Welcome back to those of you who are returning to my channel for another weekly update. I call them my Fun Friday Floss Tube Weekly Updates. Um, I am Andy Joyfield Stitcher, in case I didn't say that already. I think I did, but I'm feeling a little rusty today. I don't know why. Um, but yes, thank you so much for joining me for another weekly update. Um, if you are new, welcome. There have been a few new Floss Tube friends to join this cavalcade of fun since my last video so welcome to you if this is your first time joining me if you are a faithful friend who has been with me for many a video welcome back i hope you have had a wonderful week i'm looking forward to chatting with you about what i worked on my whips works in progress um i have no finishes i do have at least one new start i have a chat about plans i have a fair bit of stash Joy-filled stashy stash, um, or hallelujah. Um, and then I have some stitchy kindness that I got, some happy mail I got from a couple friends. I have a giveaway that I need to pick today. And then I have some more past the stash. And then a little life update smattered in for those who are interested. So first thing is on my channel, I do virtual hugs because I kind of started this on a random video back like last April, April or May. And I, I gave a hug and so many people said, thank you so much for that virtual hug. It felt like you were really hugging me. I needed that. Will you please continue? And for the most part, I have remembered each week. If I don't remember, then I often will give duplicates. I now have started giving like two hugs a week. And that is just part of, part of this culture here in joy-filled Stitcher land. So, Let's come in for our hug of the week. Let's let's give it our all. Let's push away all the stress that's maybe hanging in there and just feel positive vibes. All right, so here we go. Come in for the hug. Mm. Let's do our second hug. Mm. And then I always say hug yourself because you need to hug yourself. Love yourself. Hug yourself. So for those of you that might be new, um... Briefly, I am an elementary school teacher. I'm actually, my official title is elementary learning specialist. I am an interventionist at a private school here in um, the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I'm actually in Fort Worth proper. Born, raised, and now living here with my own family, which consists of Mr. Joyfield. Joyfield Little One, who just turned nine um, a week or so ago. And our uh, Potter, who is our Joyfield Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, who in earlier videos loved to prance around on the, um, it's not hardwood floor, laminate flooring, and make him his presence known. Um, he is, he's aged <laughs> since then, and so this is kind of his restful period of the day. It is about 5.15 my time here on a Friday afternoon. Today was kind of exciting. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we get a random email that says headmaster's holiday. And it's like, what? Our headmaster just decided Friday, February 5th, I'm declaring it a holiday from school. Nobody works. Nobody comes to school. We just have a day off to spend with our family. And so it was wonderful. We woke up this morning. We didn't have to rush to get out the door. We um, went and ran like three errands that we needed to get done for the weekend. Randomly went to Home Goods. I needed some more fridge bins to get our fridge in order this weekend. That is one of the to-do items for this weekend. 
and um, of course found other nonsense I didn't need, but that's okay. And found my husband some Houston Astros masks that were in the clearance section. Three masks for five bucks. There were like 20 packs. Apparently the Astros are not big here. They're not because we are in Texas Rangers country. But he was so excited. He's like, I'm gonna have to go back and get more because three masks for five bucks is like a deal. I was like, it is. Um, and it, they're a style he likes. Um, so we went there, we went to get gas at the Costco. We went in the Costco because there was a few things, um, we needed just to replenish. Um, I buy like my milk there because it's just really the best deal. I buy my big box of trash bags there. I buy, um, our little small paper plates there. Yes, we use paper plates, but they are recyclable. Um, we... I always get their shrimp cocktail when I go. It's like my kind of Costco treat. Um, everybody and their mom also decided on this Friday to go to Costco. So that was kind of a little anxiety ridden for me. But that's okay. And then my mom said the only thing they needed that they knew of going into the weekend was dog food for their dog. So we ended up getting, we ended up having to go to the Walmart to get dog food. Which is fine because Joyful Little One wanted cheese sticks. And that we get from a small, not from Costco. Um, she loves the Tillamook medium cheddar cheese, but I'm cheap. Not really. Um, we get that occasionally. Typically, it's too much to finish before it expires. And so while we were at the Walmart, we got some muffin mix to make some muffins. Um, and a few other odds and ends. And then we came home, put all that away. We went and dropped off the dog food. Um, and so then we've just kind of been hanging around. I've been working in my planner back planning back to the beginning of January because I want my uh, planner that I got. I think I showed it in my stories. My days are running together. Shocker. Um, a week or so ago. And so I went ahead and back planned things in that I wanted to be able to remember. Um, and then I'm caught up to this week. So in other news, my mom is doing much, much better. Thank you all so much for your thoughts, your prayers, if you felt so inclined, um, and just any good vibes you put out towards our family. Um, she had some really, really rough days. Um, Saturday was pretty bad. Friday was pretty bad. Sunday was pretty bad, but it felt like like Monday, the corner kind of started to turn. Um, she started to focus on her little small positive victories like I was encouraging her to do. Um, and that was, I think, super beneficial for her. Um, she was kind of resting in this place of like negative thoughts. Like, I'm really weak. I'm never going to get strong again. And I said, but wait a minute. You're already better. Like, let's have like moments of victory. And so she sent me a text, I think it was on Tuesday, and was like, I did it. I showered without getting lightheaded. And I was like, "Woo!" I sent her all these gifts of like people jumping up and like excited and happy. And like, we're going to throw a party because that's how, I, that's how I felt. Like, and I've been trying to encourage her and build her up. Um, at her worst, her texts were coming through all like jibber jabber. Um, she doesn't remember a lot from a, those few days. Um, she is still taking it very easy. They ended up closing her business um, all through this current week. They're going to reopen this coming Wednesday. Um, they have one big event on Tuesday, um, but everybody who is on quarantine should be free to come back at that point. So that was awesome. My dad went for a COVID test on Tuesday. He has received his back. It is negative, which is a huge praise. I'm so excited about that. So again, thank you so much for, for everybody who has just reached out to me um, through message, through, you know, uh, responding back to my stories with emojis, like everything. Every bit of that has been so encouraging and positive for me. Um, it's just amazing. And I will say I am currently completely symptom free of anything from the shot. I had my second shot 
a week ago Wednesday. So I am now nine days post. And I think my last noticeable um, kind of side effect was that my arm was insanely itchy both Monday and Tuesday of this week. We did um, stay in virtual learning, remote learning for Joyfield Little One through Tuesday. Wednesday was the end of her 10 day quarantine. She, so she was able to go back to school. Um, she was not feeling well this past Friday and Saturday. So we ended up um, deciding to take her because some of her symptoms could be tummy bug or could be the big C word. So we took her to the local pediatric urgent care that's affiliated with our fantastic hospital. We were in and out very quickly. They did a rapid test that was negative, but they said symptom onset, not highly, you know, reliable. Let's do a PCR. They did a PCR. We got that back on Monday afternoon and she was negative. So yay. So she was super excited to be back at school. Um, her teacher is in the last few weeks of her pregnancy, and so she was desperate to get back and be with her friends and be with her teacher while they wait on this precious new baby to come. Um, so yeah, I worked two days this week. I mean, I fielded emails and um, things from home, but I can't really inter intervene for my kids from home while they're at school. I don't know if that makes any sense, but anywho, that's kind of where we are. So again, thank you so much for anybody who took the opportunity to just even thank positive thoughts for my family. It means so incredibly much. And I am so thrilled to share that my mom is doing so well. Um, so yeah, I think we need to uh, talk about the giveaways from last week. So I um, did some giveaways last week. Um, I had three that I knew about going into the video, and then I had one more kind of pop up last minute as I was showing you my sulky grab bag pack. Um, so that was kind of cool. So I had four giveaways this week. I have three to share with you today. But let me tell you who was chosen for these. And I'll give you kind of the details on how you enter these if you're if you're new. I'll give you those details when I share the new giveaways. So the first one that I shared is this hands-on design, which is stitching is my heart's desire. Again, it is shipping like this in an envelope. I, do, I don't put a bunch of additional things in there so that I can send it with a regular stamp. Um, I had asked you to use the word heart for this. 96 people said they wanted to stitch this or used the word heart in their comment. And it goes to Jamie Gildemeister. Jamie Gildemeister, I apologize if I butchered your last name. I have your information because you filled out my Google Happy Mail form. Uh, more, more to come on what that entails. Um, for the most part, I think every drawing but one I was able to pick the first person that popped up. So how awesome is that? So if you want to enter my giveaways, Google Happy Mail form linked in the description box below. So Jamie, I will be putting this in the mail to you and sending it right on along. Um, the next one, this is from Cottage Garden Samplings. This is Springtime Series number one, Hello Spring. Um, this is a whole series. I think there's at least six of them now. I don't know how many beyond six there's going to be, but I think I've seen six possibly. And I asked you to use the word bulb, B-U-L-B, and spelling was important. Um, 71 people said they wanted to stitch this or use the word bulb in some way in their comment. And this goes to So Chick Nolan. So So Chick Nolan, congratulations. I will be putting this in the mail to you. I'm going to hopefully get them in the mail tomorrow. All right, then we had this Rosewood Manor. Nostalgia 6, and Joyful Little One picked the keyword for this. She picked the word unicorn. There's no unicorn in this chart, but that's her favorite thing in the whole world. So why wouldn't she give us the word unicorn? And so 51 people said they wanted to stitch this. This is a really cute chart. It's part of a series. There's a bunch of nostalgia charts, and they're charted in DMC. So I think that's really accessible for a lot of people. Um, and... Donna Ramsey was chosen to stitch Unicorn or Nostalgia 6. So Donna, I will, congratulations, and I will be putting this in the mail to you. And then the last one that I am passing along to someone is I had gotten a Sulky 300 yard. This is the 12 weight blendables. 
Um, and I got a um, grab bag from the Sulky website. I don't know if they're still doing their overstock sale. I did end up going back. Go, I did end up going back and ordering two more of the grab bags. It is just too good of a deal. These retail for about six dollars ish. The grab bag, if it is still available, is a combination of 10 assorted 300 yard skeins, both blendables and solids, for $17.95 plus shipping. That's a steal of a deal. A couple of people asked me questions in the comments about Sulky. So there are different weights of Sulky. 12 weight blendable became very popular. Um, after a few stitchers started using it and talking about it, and then a few uh, designers charted things with it. My first memory of the 12 weight coming up was when Kathy Haberman, Hands On Design, used it for her chocolate bunnies chart, and she had a sulky pack created with the small spools. The cool thing about this, especially if you're one who likes to stitch with only one strand of floss, one strand of Sulky 12 weight, okay, the cotton blendables or cotton petites, which are the small spools or just the cotton, but it's the 12 weight because they make sewing thread, they make rayon thread, they make metallic thread. It's the 12 weight cotton. One strand of that is equivalent to two strands of DMC held together. But because this is one strand and it's twisted in such a way, you get fantastic coverage and you only are working with one strand. So you're, the knotting, the twisting, the things like that, I have not personally experienced being as bad as when I stitch with two strands of DMC. I love it. I am super pumped because I did buy the bigger spools of the white and the black, and I've already pulled some off the big spools into some of the things I kitted last weekend. And so, yeah. So long story short, I highly recommend Sulky. Um... And it is, like I said, equivalent to approximately two skeins of DMC. Some have said, oh, it's approximately like one and a half skeins. Um, I love the coverage on 18 count. I love the coverage on 16 count. It starts to get a little sparse. I haven't really done it on 14, but 16, 18 is perfect. It's a little thick on 20 count, um, but not... And I, I don't stitch a whole lot on the even weaves and linen. So I'm kind of giving you an Ada perspective, but I assume it would be the same on the even weave and linen equivalent. So 125 people used the word sulky in their comment. And this is going to Stitch and Darling. So Stitch and Darling, congratulations. Um, in the form, it just said A was your first initial. So Miss A. I am excited to send this to you. So it'll be going in the mail this weekend. So congratulations to all who were chosen. And we'll have some more giveaways to share with you a little bit later on. Right now I want to talk about some happy mail I got. Some um, This is not stash. This is stitchy kindness. And I know not everybody loves this segment. Um, but these folks took their time and energy to share something with me that they thought I would love. And I love these things, so I am going to share them. Um, if you're not interested, feel free to like swipe that little bar forward until like, you see some projects being shown. So this is from a wonderful stitchy friend of mine. Her name is Kara, and she sent me an awesome postcard. It has Maine on there, which I think is so cool. And she sent me some progress keepers or like stitch holder type things for knitting. Um, I think these all are progress keepers or stitch markers, and they're awesome. So let me try to show these. My camera's not super fantastic with the close-ups. I'm trying to get them so they're kind of all together with their like-minded. So here's a really beautiful red heart. This is a stitch marker, so you can see it's a closed ring. It's actually a jump ring, which means, you know, you can split the ring if need be. I love these little, they're very minimalist, very simple, little small um, circle stitch markers, but they have just a pretty little bead on them. And then she sent me, so, these are so cute. It's not even funny how cute these are. Like, I love them. This uh, Progress Keeper, see it has the lobster claw that's an ice cream cone with beads and all. I love it. And then look at this. It's a gumball machine. With like 
little beady gumballs. So cute. But that's not all she sent. Like, how cool is that? She sent yarn. And she said, she explained, she said this was, um, she thought Joyful Little One would love this one. And what's funny is that she saw this and she's like, I love that. She was right. This is from the Lemonade Shop. And this is their sock yarn in Magical Unicorn Supreme. So this has some Stellina in it, so you can see it sparkles, and it's literally a unicorn horn in yarn form. So it truly is Magical Unicorn Supreme. So it's 75.25.5, which means it's 75% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 5% Stellina. So this is beautiful. So Kara, thank you so much. She said this would be perfect for either of us. Well, I can tell you self-striping sock yarn, I'm all about it. And this is from a company called um, Must Stash Yarns. Um, this says Little Skein Knit Along Sock School Summer 2016 Perfect Sock Stealth Striping in the color Pippi. Some of this so cute. So yes, I love that. Stash in good health. You may have heard little feet and felt the bumping, the ripple of the tripod. Joyful Little One is here. Obviously, we are not at the point where we are comfortable. My mom is not comfortable having her over there um and so she is hanging out with me this evening but she's kind of going back and forth and then this one I cannot wait oh my gosh I cannot wait so this is from yarn enabler hand dyed wool I don't know if any of these are still available I would assume probably this one is not because it seems like it was maybe specific for this sock school um but this is yarn enabler .com, and this is number two pencil so if you will look we have the yellow, the pink, and the um, kind of gray that's the pencil. And then you have two mini skeins that are your lead of your pencil to do your toes. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So good. Excuse me one second. So, Kara, thank you so, so much. I really, really... Can you have... Oh, sure. Um... Yes, yes, yes. Um, so thank you so much, Kara. I really was so excited to see this. It put a huge smile on my face. It brightened my day big time. I just cannot. I just cannot. It was such a cool treat to get that in the mail. And then, unexpectedly, I got a beautiful card. It says, dream the dreams that you keep in your heart. Look at that puppy. Oh, my goodness. And this is from my friend, Amy, who lives in Alaska. And she wrote in her note, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but she said she had finished this little notebook and every time she looked at it, she thought of me. And so she decided to go ahead and send it to me. I was blown away. Blown away. I'll show it to you in just a second. She said, use it to keep track of your coffee kindness contributors or anything else your heart desires. Enjoy, Amy. Thank you so much, Amy. Look at this cute little notebook. So it's a little composition notebook. And then it's got this cute little chart love with the little coffee mug. Or in my case, steamed milk mug. Amy, I adore this. And I love the idea of keeping track of who has bought me a coffee or bought me a fancy floss. So for those of you that are new, I do have a link down in the description box um, that if you feel so inclined, you heard something you liked, you really just enjoyed, you want to help out a little bit with the postage on the, all the different um, past the stash, you can buy me a coffee. That's the company that's created this kind of crowdsourcing. I don't know what you really call this type of thing. Um, but I do buy me a fancy floss because that's kind of my thing. I don't drink coffee anymore. I do. I have gotten into drinking steam milk. Oatly milk is incredible. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to go back and write all of them in here. And I'm going to write the comment that you leave. And then I'm going to have a whole little book of stitchy love and kindness so thank you so much amy and kara again thank you thank you thank you thank you both so so much one second sure you can just keep keep it not copyright meaning no disney stay off disney plus okay that's fine yeah that's fine 
she asked if she would turn on the TV. And I told her, that's fine, but keep it off Disney Plus, obviously. You heard all that conversation. We will not have a Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity floss tube this week, I don't think. All right, so let's talk about what I worked on this week. So I, last week, showed that I had, one of my goals for January was to do two days on Posey Go Round, which is a Patreon exclusive for May, from May 2020 from Ink Circles. I have this going on a 16 count. Oh, I've left my, I've left myself here. I think that's where that would go, but I'm not certain. I think so. Let me get my floss to the back. I might have put that in the wrong space. It's okay. I can fix it later. I am stitching this on a hand dyed by... St no. Yes. Hand dyed by Stephanie. 16 count Ada in slate. I'm using four colors of color and cotton floss. I am using Hollyberry is the red. The green is Primitive Vines, which is like one of my most favorites. One of my most favorite, not favorites. And then my kind of tealy green is Emerald City. There's Hollyberry. And then the outside lacy part is going to be in Mycelium, um, which is kind of a pinky white. So I did, I did end up getting two. Actually, I did a little bit more than two days on it. And so I met my January goal for, goal for this. So actually, while I have this right here, I'm going to take my hoop off because... I'm always like, where are my hoops? Where are all my hoops? Oh, it's on the project still. I have the same problem with my hoops that I used to have with my Q-snaps. So let me put this up. I know that that is the thing that takes kind of the longest on some of these videos is all the putting away. But if I don't do it right now, I end up with a big pile of nonsense. All right, so I had a new, a couple of new starts this week. They're in no particular order. This one is in a bag. I think I showed this in last week's video, maybe. This is from my dear friend, Molly Klein. She is Molly Klein Designs slash Sweet Tea Yarns over on Etsy. And she had this super cute project bag in Rifle Paper Company. And so I put this project in there. And this is Barbara Anna Designs, newest design called Dreaming Girl and it is a stitch along. So what was released this time was her face, her body, and kind of the top wave of her hair. Um, this stitch along has a bit more time in between pieces, I believe. I am stitching this on a 16 count Ada from Color and Cotton in a limited edition. This was from when, back when I first joined the Fabric of the Month Club, like quite a few years ago. And um, this is what I have so far. I am doing a skin conversion. I am keeping her hair the same and her dress the same. And as far as I know, the rest of the elements the same. But I am darkening up her complexion. So I went through and chose um, kind of the darker shadow side is now translated to the lighter highlight side. However, I even darkened it to a more cocoa, like a a deep like a lighter cocoa and then the other side is a deeper cocoa I'm in the like 38 63 38 64 range and so I love this I mean y'all know my love for Barbara Anna does not end does not end one minute please All right, so then this one's actually still on my stand, and that is because this is part of my February whip go. Um, this is one of the two charts that were chosen, and both of them have a goal of seven days. I think I'm four or five days in on this one. This is Light by Barbara Anna Designs. Um, this was her Be Well and Stitch, one of her freebies. Um, So I still, like I said, have this on my stand. This is a K's Creations Z Lab stand. Um, I am stitching this on 25 count Stormy Night Lugana. And I'm doing this one strand over one with mostly the called for DMC. So I've made quite a significant bit of progress um, on this. This needle minder is from Mad for Minders. 
And so um, I have a few more days left on this. As you can see, I've got some of the kind of cool snowflakes going in her skirt. This is the bottom edge of her skirt. So I love her. I mean, her face to me looks so like, like art. I love the one over one. I will not do it all the time because it's a lot and it does not go as fast as like on my Ada, but yes. Sorry, I'm having... Sorry, I have a like a fuzzy in my nose or something. And this is in a beautiful bag from Diana. It is Kismet. It's got some beautiful William Morris fabric. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so next up was another new start. Actually, you know what? I showed this last week, and I didn't couldn't figure out if I had more progress. It was in my bin as if I had stitched on it again. So this is um, Hope Celebration Small. This is a freebie from Liz Matt. Hello from Liz Matthews. If you sign up for her newsletter, as far as what I've heard, this might be part of a series of smalls that will be freebies. This is on sixteen count color and cotton. It's a mystery from the grab bag, and I'm stitching it with color and cotton rhubarb, which is a beautiful floss. It's like peachy, pink, rosy, dusty awesomeness. And I worked a bit more in this flower. And yes, actually, now that I think about it, I did get some progress on this. But I am done with this on this rotation. So I am going to go ahead and pop it off this hoop. I have some other smalls I'm going to be working on this weekend. And so I need to free up that hoop for right now. I will be back to this one not too long from now because I love it. All right. So then I worked a bit more on Seeking Solace. And this is Long Dog Sampler Seeking Solace. This is part of um, her collection 2017. It's nine charts that are in a digital format that can be purchased from her website. Um, I am not stitching this Art Deco border. Um, the words and this flower will be the in my edges, my borders. And then I am stitching the verse in like hot pink. Let me show you. Because why not? Why not hot pink? This is, not that, this is right here, 1840s bright candy pink. And uh, my conversion is a lot of Victorian motto. There's some gentle arts, but mostly Victorian motto. This is on 20 count Ada from Color and Cotton in light brown sugar. And my goal for January was page one finish. I did not get page one finish. This has a lot of fiddly cut. Not, I don't, okay. Fiddly sounds so negative. It has a lot of color changes. Like this motif is beautiful. Due in large part to the fact that it has nine different colors in it. And it is not a very large motif. So I have hit pretty much the bottom border and then I've hit, like, my pages are not very big because this is obviously 20 count and I'm going, you know, one strand over one. But there was a lot of color changing and stuff. So, you know, my goal would be to get those two page finishes so that I could have my two of eight finished by the end of February. But considering I barely stitched on it at all, I'm not going to beat myself up if I don't hit those two page finishes before the end of February. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm just being perfectly honest. Um, as like I said, it does have a lot of little, um, like one stitch here of this color or one stitch and it's too far to carry. I did carry some, but I can't carry on all those colors. They're, some of them are too bright. All right, everything that's left is a new start. Because I was in this like, oh, somebody's having a sale on that and I want to stitch that. Okay, I'm going to start it. Hi, hi there. That's a very squeaky door. All right, so the first thing that I decided to, um, okay, last Saturday, I had the true pleasure of attending Acorns and Threads Winter Acorn Gathering. Um, it is It was virtual this year. There were close to 200 participants. 
on the Zoom call. And it lasted from some point in the morning until the afternoon. I did have to get up and go run an errand and go do a few other things. So I kind of popped, you know, in and out. Um, I listened to some. I watched some, you know. So I kind of was in and out. But I did go ahead and start the chart that came with. So this is Frony Ritter Designs Acorn Gathering 2021. Um, and then she did chart a second option with the little masks. And I think this is so cute. There's actually an alternative saying that says, I think, like, gather love. I think I might put that. I haven't decided. I haven't gotten that far. Um, it came with the stuff to finish it, like the finishing fabric. This is the original linen. I had requested Ada, um, but I think I was maybe too far down the list to get Ada. So I ended up with linen and I just was not feeling linen on Saturday. I needed like easy things to stitch on and linen for me. I feel like I have to focus a lot more. And so I went ahead and started it. This is a piece of 20 count from Be Stitch Me in Electric Avenue. So I showed this actually as part of Stashy Stash a while ago, like two weeks ago maybe. And so I have a start on that center acorn and this one color of the squirrel. And so I love this fabric because I felt like it kind of looks like that dappled light effect of the Pacific Northwest forests. And so I love how this is starting up. Um, I'm gonna need you to stay in one place or the other, please, okay? Okay, thank you. Um, so I did get a little bit of a start on that. Um, it was so much fun. They gave us a bag of M&Ms. I got a super cool Acorns and Threads coaster that says keeping you in stitches for 25 years. They did raffle prizes. We got a charm, 2021 charm for our name tag. Well, I was, this was my first thing to do. So I actually got my name tag and I'm going to see if I can pull you up. It is sitting right there in the middle of my, um, that is my Acorns and Threads name tag. And made for me by Jo, jo Lynn. So anyway, super fun. Um, we got all the flosses to get started. Some people were rocking it big time. I ended up pulling out some other stitching and working on things. Um, because I had some goals I wanted to meet. So yeah, but I had a super fun time. Um, lots of my stitchy friends were on there. Some were only able to pop in briefly, but it was awesome. It was so awesome. I, I was bummed. I did, I don't want to say bummed, but I did have to leave one of the hours to go do some grocery shopping for my parents for some things they needed. And unfortunately when I left was when Janine of, um, the blue flower came on and talked. And so I did miss that. And that was a kind of a bummer, but it's okay. It is okay. All right, then I started on February 1st, I think. I started the Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Along. This is Stronger Together, celebrating Black History Month. I am stitching this one. 100% um, of the proceeds from the sale of this chart go to the United Negro College Fund. Um, and so even if you don't intend to stitch it right now, go buy it. There's also a quilt pattern. Um, I did not buy the quilt pattern because I don't, think I'll have a cross stitch in a quilt that look the same. Um, excuse you. But I could not resist. So, so, so cute. So I did go ahead and when I purchased the PDF, I had purchased a few other things as well. I did purchase the floss pack. I don't know that these are still in stock. And it came with the Stronger Together wristband. I am keeping it in here for right now. I have this on 14 count fabric flare in hand dyed aqua effect that I had purchased from Fat Quarter Shop quite a bit ago, um, but it's actually the called for fabric. So what a great reason to use it. So I did get a pretty decent start. I used this a little bit for Semi Sane Stitchopoly. I am participating in that this month. I am doing the traditional method, which means I roll the dice, I move the board, I do some stitches. So yeah, I am kind of rocking and rolling. This is all of this light pink color in the large checkerboard motif. I have one, two, three, four more squares of the dark pink. And then that part of the motif, motif is done. 
and so awesome. I do, I did also really appreciate that it included on the last page of the chart a biography about Elizabeth Hobbs Keckley and how, um, kind of her journey for her, a brief biography of her journey from slavery to being, um, kind of a confidant and, um, one of the, like, handmaids, I guess, as you could say, or ladies' maids of, uh, Mary Todd Lincoln. And so, I think that's really cool. There is a book that is about her life and I'm going to purchase that because I want to read it because I think her story sounds phenomenal. So anywho, I would encourage you to go purchase it. Um, even if you have no plans to stitch it anytime soon or you just want to stitch part of it, that would be fine. All right, so I'm back. I had to take that phone call. Um, so the last new start that I had um, I am housing in my awesome project bag from the Black Needle Society. This it was from the Date With My Stitching box, uh, which was the January subscription box, and I love it. And it's actually housing the project from that box. So this is Hands On Design, a waffle lot, and I am participating in the Waffle Lot Sow um, with some of the other folks that got this box. And... Um, I think that Michelle Bendisici is who started the hashtag because I actually just watched that video where she talked about it. That's how far behind I am on videos. Um, but anywho, so a waffle lot. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I am stitching this on 20 count Ada. Are we seeing a theme? 20 count Ada. This is just a Zweigert. This is in blush, so it's a really light pink. And I have a fairly awesome start. I'm really proud of it. Actually, I have the whole waffle in the middle. I'm stitching this, I think, in the all the called for DMC, which is shocking. But, you know, Kathy Hopperman. Not Kathy Hopperman. Yes, Kathy Hopperman. Yes, Kathy Hopperman. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Knows what she's doing. And the needle minder is amazing. It is stitch hearts, which are like conversation heart with stitchy sayings that also came from that box. So, I'm using all the things. So, um, I think... They released some more of these and some more of these to the, the vault section. I don't know what's left, so don't quote me on any being left, but it's worth a shot to go look. So I have the start of a waffle, and I love it. And yeah, can't wait to get back to that one at some point soon. So that is all the projects I worked on. Um, as you can see, I started some new things. So let's chat a tiny bit about plans, and then we'll get into some stash and some giveaways. After plans, I'll talk away about my past the stash giveaways for today. So plans for this weekend, I should finish up my rotation on light by Barbara Anna, which will go ahead and get me raring to go on my second whip go piece for the month, which is something I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't have notes today. And then I do have a project with a birthday tomorrow. I had to think about what today was. Um, and that is square dance by heart and hand. And so my goal would be to sit down and work on, I'm going back to July. That's where I've left off. So I need to work on July forward. Um, I work on my projects on their birthday. So that one is coming up tomorrow. Um, my other big plan for, per se is I'm kind of going through and decluttering my entire life bit by bit. Um, those of you that watch my Insta stories of the planner content, um, and I think I saved those to my highlights if you're at all interested in it. I purchased a decluttering um, little journal that gives you checks of each thing you can declutter. So my big one this weekend, and I'm feeling compelled to do it, is whips. There's a lot that's hitting the road, Jack. So some of them I'm going to hack off fabric and call it a day. If it's like a PDF project, I'm not passing it along. There's a possibility that some of these will be coming to D-Stash as fully kitted with my start, if you're interested. Um, I don't know that I'll have any project bags because my hope is, is that I'll be able to move everything around and get to a point where I don't currently have anything in Amazon project bags, and those can be for kitting things if need be. 
Um, I did spend some time kitting up a few things. I also went through my kitted things already and pulled some things and was like, nope, I have no intention of stitching that. I liked it at one time, but not anymore. I look, I love what I'm doing right now and focusing on projects for longer periods of time. It's not bouncing around. And yes, I did start quite a bit this week, but these are ones that, one, they're a little bit smaller because I think waffle lot, I may not even stitch all the components. I love the top and that might be all I stitch. Um, and the acorn gathering, I love that one and it will remind me of participating in that. But again, I may just stitch the squirrels. I don't know. It is kind of cool that it has 25 acorns, which represents one acorn for each year. So that is kind of neat. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, that one's going to probably be a journal finish. So yeah, I need to go through because there's things that I'm not touching enough that I want to touch more. And there's things that I'm just not like, I'm not a sampler stitcher. Womp womp. So yeah, that's coming, coming at some point. So that's kind of it for plants. Um, and I have some stitching to do tonight that I would like to get done. So it is that time again. It is Joy-filled stash stash time. It's Joy-filled stash stash time. So the first thing that I got came in this box. And this is from Crazy Annie's Stitching. She was having a overstock sale. And one of the things she was selling was a baker's dozen of the sleds. And I am, as I whack myself in the head, and it was a deal, a deal. And one of the things I'm participating in is the Annie B's folk art series she's doing, which is Let's Go Sledding. I've already received the first month. This is February, so this actually came with it. And so um, I'm probably not going to stitch one from every month. I'm all of them from every month. But I have enough sleds now to do one from every month and one month, two of them. Or this was also in her overstocks. This is a shepherd's bush. And this is Jolly Santa Tag. And if you can see, it says Joy. And it comes with all of the materials, the kind of red, rusty, um, perforated paper, the finishing findings, everything. The only thing that it, I mean, and you can choose to do it as a sled or as a tag. So I might do it as a tag because I already have it and that frees up a sled. We'll see. I'm not sure. But um, I could not pass it up. They were on a great deal. It was for a baker's dozen, so I have 13 of them. So, yay! All right. So, also in here, um, in record time, I... Oh, no, this is not that. Just kidding. Um, I did get some more silks from Mo Sale. Um, this time, they were kind of getting snagged the way the tags were wrapped around with st uh, staples. So I, after last week's, was it last week's video? The last time I showed these silks, I went and carded them on floss tags. These are floss tags from my mystery box from Anna at Stitch Toolbox, the one from her December uh, Christmas box. So this was one that I got this time. This is Grafton, which is beautiful. Um, that's 17.4 yards. This is Brisbane, kind of as like a, I think, do I have two of these? Yes, I have two of these. They're kind of slightly different, but they, I thought they could be pretty for some kind of a unique piece. And then I have, I did get two of this one because I think it's gorgeous. This is Sydney. These are kind of all Australian in my opinion. This one's not. And then I have, I don't think at least, maybe it is Darwin. Look at how pretty that is. It's just shimmery. And then Adelaide. I love that. So I went ahead and grabbed those. This past week she did cottons. And I am really going to work on my spending. Because um, I just have so much to stitch. Like I, I don't have enough in one lifetime. And then Barbara Anna the day after Dream Girl Sal. The first part dropped. She released Lemon Cat. And Lemon Cat is so cute. And I'm like oh, I need to live longer. All right, I signed up to be part of the Sunday Stitching, Sunday Stitches Club from Crazy Annie's. Um, and you can find her on Facebook. And so I got my January chart. This is a new series from Heartstring Sampler, Samplery that is based off of hymns. And so this one is based off of Amazing Grace. 
I did choose to have it kitted with the three called four flosses. So we've got a classic color works and then we've got two weeks dye works. I am currently not, I'm, I'm actually going to de-stash all of my weeks dye works. Um, what I used to believe about them, which is that they um, snagged and knotted more than others for me, I'm not, I don't enjoy stitching with them. So I will be, I will be selling. I don't have that many, but I will be selling them. So these I'm actually going to pass off to one of y'all. If you have any interest in Gunmetal and Loden by Weeks Dye Works, if you will use the word Weeks, W-E-E-K-S, again, you need to be 18. You need to fill out my Google Hobby Mail form. Um... What else? Don't say free giveaway. Use the word. Spell the word correctly because I use re random YouTube comment picker. So again, weeks. W-E-E-K-S. I just realized I didn't show the rest of the giveaways. What is wrong with me? Okay. Pa time out on um, stashy stash. I am keeping. Uh, you know what? I'm going to throw in campfire because I have like three of these already. So if you want the weeks and the one campfire, say weeks. So time out on stash and let's do the rest of the giveaways. So this was passed on to me uh, by a friend of mine named Patience. I don't see myself stitching it and so I want to pass it on to somebody else. So this is from Angel Stitching and this is Spring B. So if you would like to stitch B, you're going to use the word B. B-E-E. -E. So Spring B. So we've got the flosses is Weeks, W-E-E-K-S. The B is B-E-E. -E. I have a Teresa Kogut for you today. This one is Welcome Spring. I purchased this one off of a website when they were clearing things out on Overstock. And I got it on a, you know, like 50% off. And I was like, that would be one I want to pass on on my video. So this is Teresa Kogut, Welcome Spring Bunny. So if you would like to stitch this one, I would like for you to use the word bunny. B-U-N-N-Y. B-U-N-N-Y. And then the last one is this, this was also passed on to me by Patience, and I don't see myself stitching this. I did not have the called for colors, which are Stormy Night and Thundercloud, so I went and looked at what they look like, went to my week stash, and found Dolphin and Seagull, and thought they looked very similar to Stormy Night and Thundercloud. So if you would like to, to stitch, Little House Needleworks Rain Showers and get the two fancy flosses. Please use the word Fairy. No. Uh Thunder. Thunder. Use the word thunder. T-H-U-N-D-E-R. So again, thunder for this one. Bunny. B. And weeks. So those are the four giveaways for this week. Now let's get back to stash. So again, I am participating in this. I actually need to reach out to um, Annie and tell her that I want to just get the chart and not the flosses from now on because I have so much stash. I don't need more flosses um, because I know that I have a beautiful red, a green, and a charcoal -y color easily. Typewriter, hello. Color cotton typewriter would be perfect for that. All right, so next up, um, I, in my amazing date with my stitching box, there was a lollipop in there that is from Laughing Forest. I have heard about Laughing Forest for months and months from Michelle Bendy Stitchy. It is her friend that runs this amazing company. It's called Laughing Forest. So laughingforest.etsy.com and she does art, artisanal lollipops. So I ordered a selection of her, um, I think, let me, let me tell you what I got. I got the chocolate variety lollipop set of six. So included in that were chocolate peppermint with agastache mint and chocolate coconut almond. They're wrapped wonderfully in bubble wrap. Let me just show you how pretty these are if you've not seen them on anybody else's. Like, look at how beautiful that is. 
So those were two from the chocolate assortment. I also got chocolate strawberry lavender and orange chocolate. And then cherry even nope, that's not from that same set. Oh, chocolate cinnamon rose, which sounds incredible, and chocolate cherry violet. Then I made a, a selection of six that included cherry vanilla almond, vanilla, vanilla caramel apple pecan, cherry sage black pepper, strawberry lemon basil. And dude, this is so cool. I say dude, like just like Joyful Little One says, yo. Look at this strawberry that's in there. It's not so cool. And then um, a blueberry lemon thyme, which was the one that I got in my box, which was incredible, and rosemary orange pear. So I'm super pumped to have these. Um, they are a super treat for me. Um, I expect these will last for quite some time. They did say on the website that they will last for you know a good solid amount of time um and so yeah i'm excited about those um joyful little one would like one but she's gonna have to wait for right now all right so for this i need to pull up a picture real quick let's see gauge die works thank you and we're gonna search for whiskey in oops careful please a tea cup okay so i was watching i think the grocery girls and they were talking about how um gauge dye works awesome logo is known for their self-striping so they do self-striping socks but what i fell in love with was self-striping shawl yarn so I purchased from their website, and I did it as a pre-order, their whiskey in a teacup colorway, and also the sh uh, shawl pattern. So let me show you the yarn first, because it did come in, and it is gorgeous. So this is a two-ply fingering. It's beautiful. And when you knit it using their, using the shawl pattern, that is what it will look like. So it will self-stripe in that manner as long as you follow the gauge and all of that. So super pumped, super pumped. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, whiskey in a teacup, shawl yarn. Um, please stop, thank you. All right, the very last thing I have to show you is um, the company Stitchly or Stitch.ly I think it's just Stitchly, reached out to me um, and asked if I would be interested in trying out their new kind of beginner's complete cross stitch kit. And I said, I'd love to see it. Um, I have a budding stitcher in my house. Um, I, I love, you know, kind of checking out new companies. So they sent me a link to their kits. They are being, they're from Ireland, but they are distributing them through the warehouse American warehouses from Amazon. So this was provided by them to me. Um, and I'm pretty blown away. I think it's really awesome. So let me show you what came in it. It um, Because I have Prime, I was actually, once they sent me the link to the product, I was able to purchase it for next day shipping. Um, I am a Prime member. So in the description box, I will leave a link to this if you're interested in purchasing it off Amazon and they have provided me with a code that I will also put in the description box and the code will be for five dollars off so let me show you what comes in this so the first thing you get is a is a cross stitch guide so it has step-by-step -step instructions like what are the tools that are included what are the tools that are included how to thread a needle, how to make your first stitch, how to prepare your hoop, working with happy little rainbow, then displaying your hoop. So it tells you how are you going to finish it. And then it goes into the charts. Now, there are, I'm trying to think, on the website there are pictures of the charts. 
So what I'm going to do is, as best I can, I'm going to show these to you so you can see what they look like, but they do look like the charts. The first one is this cute uh, set of parrots that says, you talking to me. The next one is giraffes. Here's looking at you, kid. Say hello to my little friend. Just keep swimming. So you get all those charts in there. You get three hoops. Very nice beechwood hoops. Good thickness. You get one smaller one, two in these larger ones. You get some of these little snips. You get two needles and two needle threaders. I have reached out because these are very long needles. And they don't, to me, appear to be tapestry needles. So that was my one kind of, I'm going to reach out and say, I'm not so certain about these needles. Um, so I will sub in my own needle for this because um, I have a plethora. And then it comes with the DMC flosses carded with the numbers printed on these um, cardboard bobbins. And then it also comes with, this is the first, so this is like, start here. No counting required. It gives you the chart. It tells you which colors to stitch. You stitch it. And then as far as I know, so once you're done stitching it, you place your Ada in warm water for 15 minutes, and then give it a rinse and hang to dry. So there you go. And then you can take it and cover it with a towel and iron it. Um, but all of this washes off. And then you have a cute little rainbow to display. I think that's awesome. And then you're given five cuts of white Ada. So um, it also came with a couple of extra plastic floss bobbins, an extra piece of um, Ada. I guess maybe if you want to test out some stitches first. Um, I won't need that. My needle just fell out. Um, two needle threaders, two needles, the snips, like I said, the three hoops and the instruction booklet with the charts. Um, so if you follow the link in the description box below and you use the code, and this is why it's going to be linked so you can copy it, 6KLV4X2F. So again, 6KLV4X2F. F, you get five dollars off of your kit and if you have prime then it ships for free and very quickly so um i'm excited joyfield little one's super excited about the rainbow one i can foresee her maybe stitching that and then hanging it up on her wall so thank you so much to stitchly for reaching out to me and sharing this kit i have a feeling that all of those will get stitched by either me or someone else in my household so with that, the very last thing we do is I share with you, that's upside down, a Teresa Kogut Angel Kindness card. So this is an awesome little box of 52 really nice cards with Teresa Kogut's art, her angels, and then some words of positivity. So I chose this one and it says, be aware of your thoughts, be aware of your behavior, attitudes, and habits in your life. Awareness is enlightening. And I just, I really like that about being kind of being aware of what you're, what you're thinking, what you're doing and what impact that might have on somebody else. Um, and how that awareness of where you are can help you to be, you know, better, go better, do better. That's what I've always told my students. If you know better, you do better. Um, and there are some people that need to know better. And there's some people that need to do better. Um, and I know I'm not perfect. So those kindness cards are reminders to me as well. Um, I really appreciate your support. Again, thank you so much for hanging in there. This is a long one today, guys. I was extra chatty. But I wanted to share with you kind of updates. I wanted to give you um, a look at what I worked on this week. And what happiness came in my mail. Um... I do foresee that getting less and less as I move towards just basically my subscriptions or my the special boxes I want to get. 
Um, so with that, I think we're done for today. So I will see you next Friday. I think I am contemplating doing a quick daily video to show you my um, Forbidden Fiber Valentine mystery um, yarn bouquet. Um, but we'll see. I may do that over on Insta Stories. I'm not sure how that's going to look yet. So with that, I will bid you a wonderful week ahead. I will see you next Friday and have a wonderful week. All right. Just be. Be yourself. Be kind. Be content. Be, be whatever you need to be for yourself and to care for yourself. Take care of you first. Put on your own mask first. Alrighty, so as I like to close my videos, I will sing to you. So long, Stitch Well, I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>